are you still in a position where you're comfortable answering questions about last season? I feel like head coaches want to like <laughs> move on. Where are you at with just appreciating everything that you all are able to do? You know, I don't know that I've taken the time to fully appreciate it, to be quite honest. Yeah. Um, sometimes I still think, wow, you know, did that really happen? And yeah. um, so it's t it, I know it's time to turn the page. I'm not sure I want to turn the page, <laughs> but it is time and we will move on. Every single one of your games is sold out at home. Mm -hmm. what, what does that say about where the game is at right now, mm -hmm. but also the special team and, and program that you've put together? Yeah, you know, I think we play an exciting style. I, I think people enjoy watching, you know, up and down, high, fast pace, a yeah. lot of scoring, a lot of threes. And so I think we play a great style. But I also do think it's like where our game has grown to, you know, and the media has helped that, quite honestly. You know, the more that we're on television, the more people get to see us. Um, they understand what a quality game women's basketball is right now. And so I think people enjoy it, but also the Hawk fans, I mean, they're amazing. They yeah. really are amazing. And um, if it's going to happen somewhere in the country, it's going to happen at Iowa. We've had a number of uh, players and coaches come in here, and they've been asked, like, what is the hardest place to play? Um, and, and Iowa is right up there. Just I because love of it. it. Yeah, I know you'd <laughs> like to hear that. Uh, you're reading right now, Pressure is a Privilege by right. Billie Jean King. Mm -hmm. Why that book? at this moment to start a new season? I was actually talking to Christine Brennan from the USA, and she wrote the book uh, with Billie Jean King, and she talked about it, but it's also something that I've, I met Billie Jean King a while back, and she wrote that quote down for me and signed it, and I framed it, and it's in our locker room. Mm -hmm. So it's been a part of our locker room for quite a while now, um, but I thought it's time to read the book. Um, it's fitting because there is a lot of pressure on our team this year, and I wanna be as prepared as I can to handle that. You have, no secret, the National Player of the Year on your team, right? Caitlin Clark is uh, the person to see, the person to beat. Everybody's trying to figure out how to slow her down. We, we see the numbers, but what, in your opinion, you see every day, what makes her so great? First of all, you have to have an amazing work ethic to be great at anything, right? I mean, you've got to put in the time. you got to believe in yourself. Yeah. Uh, and she has all those qualities. People don't understand how smart she is. I mean, she is extremely smart. She can remember anything. Um, and that helps with her scouting. It helps with angles and passing and that sort of thing. Um, what people don't understand is that when she's in an interview, she's almost very different than when she's on the floor. When she's in an interview, she's very serious. She can give you every statistic possible. You put her back in that uniform, you put her on the court, and I see the little girl that loves to play mm -hmm. basketball. And that comes out in her and then, and that's the, that's when I, that's the Caitlin Clark I love. Yeah. Thank you, for, thank you for sharing that. Um, I think that's part of what makes this game so great. And if you lose that, maybe it's time to, mm -hmm. to rethink what you're doing. Um, I'm sure you get so many Caitlin questions all the time. Um, your players are probably asked about her. How have you managed that? Because this is a team sport, right? right? You can't win without the five players on the court and, of course, the bench as well. Yeah, you know, everybody understands on our team that she's a special player. Yeah. But Caitlin is a great teammate. And if she wasn't a great teammate, it might be hard. If she was walked around like she was the star, she doesn't walk around like that. She is a great teammate and that helps. And, and we remember Holly Rowe one time came and talked to our team and she said, when Caitlin's light shines, it shines on all of you. Mm -hmm. And I try to remind our team of that all the time. Is yeah, we're gonna enjoy that light and it helps all of us. Caitlin was asked this very same question. Uh, are you ready for all of it? Everything that comes with being a, a Hawkeye right now? You know, I take every day one at a time. I am not like, I, I said this at our press conference, if I had to get up and think, okay, six months from now is the final four and you know, can we get there again? It'd be really tough. But when I think of every day as having the opportunity to impact 14 women, mm -hmm. that's what gets me excited. That's what I'm happy about. Um, I am not a, you know, yes, we have goals. Certainly everybody has goals, but I have to have my drive come from something more unique and different than that. Along with that, like, what do you feel like is your biggest responsibility as a coach? I mean, you, you win, you keep your job because you win, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's a reality of all coaches is that we, if we don't win, we're fired. Um, so to me though, at this time in my career, I don't care. Like I want to win, but I also want my women to graduate and I want to set them up for life. And to me, that's the most important thing. Uh, my personal mission statement is to use the sport of basketball to create the next generation of female leaders. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. 
you're going into your 24th season, and I was at practice the other day, and I asked you this, like, what keeps it fun and fresh for you right now at this point in your career? You know, honestly, it's being around the players every day. It's having the opportunity to impact women and having the opportunity to enjoy some of the most, you know, fun times of their life with them. Um, that to me is really, really fun. There's other people at Iowa who have had like the same tenure, if not longer, the football coach, right? Mm -hmm. 25th season. Yeah. What is it about being a Hawkeye? What, what do we need? To, what's the secret there to people just wanting to stay? You know, it is a, it's a special place. Um, it's very family oriented. Uh, it's a great place to raise a family. It's the Hawkeye fans are just special. You know, there's no pro sports in Iowa, so we get the media attention. We get the marketing dollars. And, you know, we get. It, it's just fun to be a part of that, but it really is a place where we value integrity, we value honesty, and it goes back to maybe the farming background of everybody helps each other. And that feel, it, it's comfortable, and, yeah. and we love it there, and I know Kirk does too. And then one more Caitlin question. How do you react to some of those shots she takes? You know, I mean, any other, <laughs> any other person, right, you take uh, early in the shot clock and you're taking a logo three may not be, like, right. the best shot. But for Caitlin, how do you? You know, sometimes Caitlin's only open when she crosses <laughs> half court. So, right. you know, an uncontested shot is always better than a contested shot. Right. But... Truly, you know, Caitlin has a different set of rules uh, because she's a special player and she has different talents than most people have as far as her shooting range. Um, when, you know, a couple years ago when she was a freshman, I probably lost a little bit of hair pulling my hair out at times. Uh, and we've come to a good agreement now on when those shots are good and when they're not. Uh, we, we asked so many questions about Caitlin, right? Mm -hmm. You've got Addie, you've got Hannah, you've got Kate, who is a great leader. Yeah. What do we need to know about your team as a whole? Well, th there are more pieces to this puzzle than right. Caitlin, and uh, Caitlin understands that. She knows she can't do it all, and we wouldn't have been where we were last year without Gabby Marshall shooting the ball so well at the end of the season, and people kind of forget about that. To me, Kate Martin is always the person that has held this together. She is the best teammate, but to me, Kate Martin right now is playing like a pro, and I'm excited to see her advance her game in the manner that she is. The title game. Um, and you talked about the fact that you haven't really like sat in everything, all the success. Mm -hmm. With all the success though, you didn't end up winning the entire mm -hmm. thing. Like how did that sit with you over the summer? You know, it didn't bother me as much as people probably think it did. First of all, of course we would have loved to have won. Yeah. Everybody wants to win. It's really hard to finish second. It's really hard to hold your head high, to walk off that car court, to go into the locker room where your women are crying because they're never going to be able to play together again. Mm -hmm. um, I am so proud of the way that our team handled that situation. I thought that they handled themselves with grace, um, integrity, and I think that helped grow the game of women's basketball. Um, so, yes, we would have loved to have won, but, you know, finishing second isn't all bad.